People in the Azores are used to seismic activity, but there's nothing normal about what's going on there right now. Over the past couple of weeks, one of the islands has been hit by more than 20,000 little earthquakes. The Azores are a set of nine islands in the mid-Atlantic. They're part of Portugal, located about 1,400 kilometers west of Lisbon. And as Mike Armstrong explains, people are bracing for what might come next. In the Azores right now, they're basically watching anything that can be watched. There are sensors that measure shaking, but these are probes measuring gases. This volcanologist says they're looking for components of sulfur, trying to understand what's going on with the volcanic system below. Now, the Azores have an alert system for volcanoes. It was raised to a four this week, its second highest level. The island of São Jorge has been hit by something called a seismic swarm. There have been literally thousands of small earthquakes, only measuring up to a magnitude 3.3. Most of them aren't strong enough to be felt by people, except emotionally. I'm scared to death, this woman says. Not just for myself, but for everyone who lives on the island, it's hard. Well, the island has five volcano craters, but it hasn't had an eruption in more than 200 years. The last one was in 1808. Well, with all the seismic activity, experts say something could be coming. Authorities have started moving people with limited mobility off the island, suspended classes at some schools, and set up a camp in case homes have to be evacuated. The soldier says the camp is support for the population in the event of a catastrophe that they hope doesn't happen. There's clearly something going on. Canadian volcanologist Melanie Kelman says the challenge for experts is trying to figure out what's going on deep into the earth with nothing but measurements from the surface. What they try to do, she says, is look at other places where similar events have happened and try to predict if the same thing might happen again. In the case of the Azores, this is what many are pointing to. Spain's La Palma volcano last year was preceded by a similar seismic swarm. In that case, it led to a fissure eruption that lasted 85 days. Kelman says with the Azores, there are similar precursors and there is good reason to monitor it closely. It may lead to an eruption, it, it may not. Obviously, there's, I think, a justification for, for a heightened alert just because we don't know what will happen. So far, more than 1,500 people have left the island. That's about a sixth of the population. In the case of this couple, they took a precaution with the taxi driver who took them to the airport. She says they asked the driver to take a picture of them in front of their house because they don't know what it might look like when they go back. People are on edge. Mike Armstrong, Global News.